from a Hampton Energy and Sustainability abbreviated meeting just to discuss a letter to the editor. Mm -hmm. um, and um, thanks for um, making this extra time. It's um, September 21. We posted this um, within the 48 hour deadline. I just want to, um, before we start talking about a draft letter that was discussed at the last meeting and would be finalized at this meeting, I think it's important to sort of emphasize that um, Google Docs is um, gets us into trouble um, and is not to be, um, it's, it's hard because it's a very good tool, but in um, when we're talking about committees discussing things or editing things, it um, creates a problem for open meeting. So what I'd like to do is just have people talk about what they edited in the version. So Ben, I don't know if you want to start by describing the document, screen sharing it, and then folks can talk about the changes that they made so that then we're just sort of sunshining all the comments that were made up until this point of this official um, posted meeting. Um, so if you could make me a co-host or something so I can share. Yeah, yeah. Sorry videos. about that. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll do that for anybody else who wants to. Okay. Um, and then actually, before you start, Ben, I'll also say that since you guys are advisory to the mayor, that um, this would be a recommendation for the committee to send this in as a either a, a column or a letter. And then ultimately, um, I'll pass it to the mayor to make sure she doesn't have any additional comments. Um, and um, just to she knows that it's going since you guys are advisory to the mayor's office. So, okay, thanks. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, here's here's all I know. I I wrote a you know the initial version. Um, I know that Eric made some edits uh, that were um, that were I thought good ones, and so I uh, I went and accepted them. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think many of them were just kind of deleting some language of mine that was not the best. Um, and then, uh, you know, he, he uh, made things a little bit more efficient, I, I would say, you know, so like didn't really change the meaning. He added uh, a really good example um, that I just liked. Oh, uh, about when it was on the question of who uh, who would end up using this bike path and uh, bike trails and how it would change. And he wrote um, a visit to any of the region's trail, rail trails and bike paths will show you what the potential may be, which I thought a really good way of illustrating what, what it's like. Um, I, th there were other improvements, but I don't think he changed the substance much. Eric, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I tried to de-science it a little bit. There were some mm. some wor words in there that I think, while accurate, probably didn't w wouldn't wouldn't uh, grab everybody's um, knowledge base. Um, and um, yeah, no, I and I I had suggested um, that you know we add a kind of a concluding sentence at the or or two at the at the end of it but yeah i mean um ben's correct in characterizing i just i cleaned up some things and removed some stuff that i thought what you know did, was maybe a little bit more confusing or um so yeah yeah okay. and so I, after I, you made that suggestion this is what i added as a the concluding sentences okay Great, thanks for that. And then um, I know that Angie, um, you made some edits in there too. Can you just um, describe your edits? Can you guys hear me okay? Yep. yep. Okay, great. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, I honestly was not aware of, of a protocol, so I apologize if I did something inappropriate um, by editing the document directly. 
um, I guess maybe I wasn't quite clear on what our objective was ahead of this meeting. Um, so my apologies, my apologies for any ignorance here. Um, I, I guess I don't have it in front of me because I'm on my phone, but um, from what I remember, I think I added an and, I might have removed a sentence um, as I was really looking to kind of reduce the amount of um, content, I guess. Um, and then I went ahead um, and highlighted areas that I felt like were important um, and uh, to try to get the overall letter under 500 words. Great, thank you. Um, and anybody else feel free to chime in about any suggestions they made, that would be fine as well at this point. And then we can just generally open it up for discussion and um, take a vote. Could could somebody also just respond to me in terms of like what we were supposed to be doing? Were we just supposed to be suggesting? Were, how much time do we have to do editing back and forth? I'm really not quite sure if I understood Carolyn's open sure. meeting law comment. I don't understand open meeting law. I'm a very new member. Any kind of assistance would be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So um, basically when there's sort of group editing, it can, um, it can be viewed as, or construed as um, serial meeting or um, meeting outside of and making decisions outside of open meeting, hosted open meeting. And so this um, kind of group editing when it involves a committee um, is not allowed. Um, but the way to solve that is to bring these comments to the posted meeting and talk about them. So we're fine. This sort of brings um, sunshine to the issue. And so that there, there can't be a claim that, you know, decisions were being made essentially behind closed doors. And yeah, so I, what I in the future, the yeah. So in the future it would be like, someone would do a draft and send it out and then it would be discussed as a group. And it's, it's a little clunkier, but it's just um, the way that it, it should be done to make sure that we're not, you know, crossing any lines um, for open meeting. So that's all. I, I think in the future, if I were, were to share using Google Docs, but didn't give anyone editor permission, I think that would probably solve it, right? Absolutely, yep. So that was my, my error. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. All of this sort of addresses that. So um, we will take care of that. <laughs> okay. So, so, so Carolyn, we... for, for, this was Eric, for, for expediency, it, it seems like the letter in its current form, we, we need to determine how how it can be distributed. It sounds like Angie is aware that if we want to get it published, it's too long. So can you, um, you sort of direct the process to how we can make it shorter or make it conform to the vehicle that we intend to use to disseminate this information? I mean, the longer letter, if people agree, could go to the mayor, right? Um, but the letter to be published so that folks know where this committee stands relative to this issue um, is, is likely to need some work before it can do that. And the only reason I ask for expediency is because I have to get off the phone in like three minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, sure. I mean, I guess, um, Angie, can you describe what you found and whether your yours was more about a letter to the editor versus a column? Do you did you have the column length that you had um, determined was uh, the allowed length? Um, I just did like a quick Google search and read a, an article that the Hampshire Daily Gazette put forward. I was assuming that that was the um, place that we were looking to publish it. And they said that 
it's best to have a letter to the editor at 350 and a column at, at 700. Okay. And then what's the total word count for this um, one? If it were to be a column, is it still over the 750? Oh. Just, a, just a thousand or so over it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So um, I guess in terms of process, then, I mean, it would, it seems to me, and, and you guys can discuss it, that it would make sense to be more of a column. Um, and then, so I, I think that maybe the, each of the sections could be made a little bit more concise, and then we could get down to that 700. Um, I mean, I think that, um, you know, we you could also send this along to the mayor and then have, um, you know, ultimately she would want to sign off on it. So that's where it could be condensed to meet mm -hmm. that um, 750 if that seems okay for the committee. Uh, could I maybe make it a, a process suggestion so that not every, I, I'm guessing that nobody wants to sit here on Zoom and edit as a group while I type what people say. Would I be right about that? Um, and that instead, <laughs> we, what we should do is instead of only using the highlights that Angie did, instead, um, maybe even highlight the things, I could use a different color, that people think are not as important. And that way we, and then, so, so that would be one part. And then the other one is to get consensus on the content. You know, does, does everybody agree on, you know, on, on the, it, that we all want that content to be out there. And if we can, I, I would say that, that the Gazette is flexible, seven, 750 or whatever may be a guideline, but I know that I've seen considerably longer columns. So if we just kind of get in that general target range of a thousand or less, um, and then let the mayor revise it after that, that might might be a decent process. It, you know, so like one of us, maybe me, whatever, could edit, or maybe Angie, whichever, could edit it, but with the guidance from everybody as like, this stuff's important, this stuff isn't. That sounds, that sounds fine with me. Um, and, you know, I think, did you say you had an, well, you have the ability to highlight now, right, on screen while we're screen sharing? Yeah, yeah so I'll, okay. I'll like say stuff we think is important, I'll highlight in green and stuff we think we can get rid of, I'll highlight in some other color. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the highlighted yellow makes sense. <laughs> okay. um, and then an explanation about who we are seems to make sense too. Um, but that might be, um, that could probably, that seemed to be a little bit wordy to me. Um, mm -hmm. So I think the concept should stay, but just sort of condense who we are as a committee. Um, And so, you know, the section, the sentence, the members of the commission are city employees collectively, you know, sort of more descriptive where it could just say the members of the commission are city employees, um, you know, member from Smith Folk, members of the public, and, um, you know, just two city councilors, et cetera. So that's factual. So the reason I kind of wanted to, I, I wanted to communicate that we're, that like we have all this expertise. We're not just political actors, you know, because I think part of it is that some of the anti uh, Main Street voices are accusing this of being a top down, you know, kind of arbitrary uh, uh, plan. And the point is that, you know, that, that these are people who have knowledge about how the city actually works. Yeah. I mean, I think that may, I think that makes sense. I would say the members of the commission are city employees and community members collectively representing hundreds of years of experience. Okay, nice. You know.
And then you can even, yeah, I think even all, the rest of that could probably go. Fix that later. Yeah. Okay. Um, the one section, I'm, I don't, please feel free to jump in. I'm not trying to mm -hmm. monopolize this. <laughs> um, but I, um, when I was going through it, if you scroll down to the bottom, I'm wondering if maybe take out um, a little bit on a, the part about equity and um, economy as sort of less of a focus of, I mean, I, I know you're drawing the connections, but either trim it down or eliminate that because the, you know, this mission of the Energy and Sustainability mm -hmm. Commission is more okay. focused on the other pieces. So blue is, is delete. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that, you know, taking some of that out might get you down to, you know, closer to the I mean, 750. You know, we could take up the whole equity part Yeah. All right. That's all I have to say. I'll let others speak now. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see what, what that is. Sorry, I, I'll figure out how many words okay. you say. I haven't. Yeah. I can't figure out how to do it right now. Yeah. Um, any other sections that people think should either be eliminated or, uh, or, or I'd say even more importantly, sections that people think are very important and should be kept. I have one more on this one while you're mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're um, the whole delivery section, taking deliveries on Main Street has always been challenging. I'm not sure that's necessary either. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's more of an argument for just like why it's good, not necessarily from our yeah. expertise. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, this is Eric. I'm I'm not online, so I can't see. But you mm -hmm. you could take out you could take out the stuff about climate and stream weather, and you know basically say what, what whatever is in there that basically says trees are good, you know, and it's and it it will improve water quality or something like that. That that would be good. I don't think we need a whole lot of explanation around that. Okay. Um, I mean, if you look at Angie, basically wrote wrote that. I mean, she she highlighted essentially two sentences: one one on cooling and one on storm water. Um, and we could probably go with with those two sentences. Um, so the, where it says tree canopies, keep that the highlighted yellow mm -hmm. um, is. I mean. I think you could probably sort of on Eric's, um, you know, lead, you're thinking delete the rest of that paragraph or maybe from recent weather, extreme temperatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from there on delete that maybe. Yeah, um, I guess I'm highlighting my deletions, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, I think this uh, point is worth making um, about heat uh, being a large cause cause of weather related death. So people who spend time on the streets would benefit. Yeah. Um, but maybe we don't have to spend as much time explaining the urban heat island effect, basically, um, and just so we could delete. 
uh, delete the uh, nighttime cooling component, all the stuff that's about how it works. Okay. I'm guessing um, you're pretty close at that point for those deletions. Probably. Um, so yeah, so I guess what uh, we could say that we're we're pretty close, and we could either leave this to someone, say, on the city side of things, you know, not not uh, not a community member, or whatever, to finish the edit, or I could try and finish the edit, and then it's already shared with you, and then you can share it with the mayor. I don't know how you think is the best way to work that. Yeah, I think, um, Ben, if you clean this up based on what everyone, if everyone mm -hmm. votes on this to move forward, you clean it up and send it to me, then I can um, just have the final sign off by the mayor. And then, um, and then uh, um, we can figure out how to send it into the Gazette. Okay. Does um, that make yeah, sense? I, I can clean it up uh, pretty quickly. Okay, great. Does anybody else have other comments about this? Are we ready to make a motion and a roll call? Okay. Is that you, Rich? Yeah, my only comment was to say thank you very much. Really, really uh, well done. Um, I actually like the whole paragraph, the two paragraphs about trees. I'm so, of course, I'm a tree person. So, <laughs> I skew, I skew to the woods. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. So, um, but yeah, I think, I think it's, I think it's great. I mean, it would be nice to. Um, it's going to be interesting because you know, for example, just the tree aspect of it. If you're, we're talking about how trees. Um, you know, provide all these benefits. And of course, the larger the tree, the larger the benefit. And then there'll be obviously the obvious pushback of why you decided to take so many of the large trees down, you know? So, I mean, there's always, there's always going to be pushback, I think, but I think, you know, this is good. I, and, uh, well, you know, also a, I, I, I would encourage people that uh, would have questions about what we're writing to actually come to me and have a discussion uh, from the general public. Uh, as well. Sorry, Ben, I cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, no, I, I think you're right. That's so a if we manage to get a little space in there, and I and I keep this process paragraph or some or, you know, maybe trim it. Would everyone agree that I should add essentially an invitation to the public? If you have questions, you should come to one of our meetings and discuss it with us something like that. careful what you wish for yeah i know <laughs> i'm trying to be responsive to to the tree guy <laughs> no i mean it's good i mean i i have people come and visit the urban forestry commission all the time and ask a lot of questions and um typically it's been fine it's um you know i think i think unfortunately sometimes when when large change people are change is difficult for people um but when the ch after the change you know, getting to the change is the most difficult part. And once the change happens, people seem to say, you know what, that really wasn't that bad. It wasn't that difficult. However said, I'm not discounting anything anyone's saying, but I think it's just the looming thought of lots of change. And I think I can speak to that being a 34 year employee. I've seen lots of change. And um, I think the city has gone in the right direction um, after 34 years. So, so I, I you know, Assuming I make enough space, if I were to add a sentence to the effect, we don't get any of these benefits if the trees die because of inadequate root zone and the new design gives them a room to grow. Right, because that is basically the argument for the new design and why you take down the existing trees. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is in the fact that the existing trees are at the end of their life cycle. I mean, that's really getting into the weeds, but, but, um, definitely uh, I, 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 I think that's the, that's, 
I think that's too deep in the weeds for, okay. for this. Okay. In my view. I gotta, I just want to want you all know, I, I, I support the way this is going, but I have to sign off so I won't be able to vote. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Eric. All right. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Before we lose anybody else, should we yeah. get a motion? <laughs> I'd move that we, um, turn this letter back to Ben and for for further editing, um, but that as but the basic premises are are supported by the committee. Is there a second? I'll second it. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Okay, and I'll take a roll call. Um, Rich. Yes. Angie. Yes. Um, oh, I still see Eric. Is Eric there? Okay. Uh, ben? Yes. Um, Louie? Yes. And I vote yes as well. Did I get everybody? I think so. Okay. So that's unanimous. Thank you all for popping on and for your work on this.